Welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online. In the last episode, I was about to start an adventure here in the southern reaches of the Red Horn Lodes. So let's go ahead and speak with Kuli. Khazadum belongs to Durin's folk. Auntie and I came here despite our fellow's request for us to stay, and I feel bad when we left them behind. But we didn't agree the area those orcs were mining was the richest source of ore in the Red Horn. We thought the untapped veins in this cavern were more likely to produce mithril ore. I hope that we find what we seek, or we ne may never hear the end of it. I need your help to scout the, scout the hive for good prospecting locations. Knowing those locations will help. If we can someday clear the path through this hive. If we are to find Mithril and Khazadum, we will first have to deal with the orcs. I noticed a number of Grodbog beetles who seem to come and go from the specific parts of the hive. Have you noticed that their shells seem to shimmer and shine? like finely polished ingots of Moria copper? I wonder if they are attracted to some ore deposits in this tunnel, and if they have been digesting some of it. That might be why their shells are so hard. Why don't you find some of these beetles and dispatch them? If we can reclaim some of the metals they have ingested, all the better. In the worst case, they are simply making the hive slightly a safer place. Alright. So, let's go explore, I guess. Let me get on my goat. And... Let me actually get south. That looks like a nest. Look at that. That is a great big nest if I have ever seen one. The chittering hole was found and noted on your map. Alright, so let me blast this little guy here. It's one of the beetles, of course. There we go. It looks like we are going to have a quest to kill some of these. The droning noise of thousands of grid big voices is enough to drive anyone mad. The incessant chittering never seems to stop. The voices need to be silenced. The largest grid big of the Grabog warriors are responsible for the loudest of the chittering. Oh, let me see if I can round a few of these up. I can't remember if these are ranged or not. They probably are. Yeah, they are. That sucks. Let me actually go up to this one. Whoa, that is a fast little critter. Come up here and keep killing some of the warriors. Perfect. Just gonna keep going deeper in, right? See if I could bless. Ah, uh, my gamer ran out. That's fine. Let me take a look at the map, see where I'm going. There's a quest ring right above me there, but let me actually head around here, maybe. There's a couple beetles here. How many more of these do I need? Maybe four more, it looks like. The gray hive, you noted. You found it and noted it on your map. Okay. So I need to find one more location. Why isn't this guy taking damage? It's really annoying. Alright. Done with that. Let me go kill this guy real quick. Grab one of 
these and one of those. Alright. The Grabog Hive is quieter for now, and the droning that remains is almost tolerable. So I need to find one more location here. And I'm not entirely sure where it is. I don't see it on the map. Let me put this as my focus. And it's pointing me over that way. Didn't see that dead end, sorry. It's quite far away. It says close to 600 meters. Try to go around and follow it. That's weird. It's like in a completely different area almost. Oh, that's for me to turn in the one quest here. I guess there's a, another little hive here. And I'm lagging. I do apologize about that. I don't know if it's my internet or the game server. Might have to do some editing here. Alright, friends, I do apologize. I did, in fact, disconnect. But I'm back. I'm back. And you didn't even notice because of the magic of video editing. Isn't it great? Alright, so yeah, let me find this last little cluster here. And I should be able to go turn in all these quests. There we go. Claw Hollow found and noted on your map. Let's turn all these in. And by the all these, I mean two. Soon to his halls. I take it this means there are fewer Gredbig around than those ore deposits? Excellent. But they kept returning, you say. I do wonder if we can ever make this area safe to mine. We will reclaim Khazadum for Dine Ironfoot. You found some promising locations. I'm excited to begin our search. But we're just miners and wouldn't stand a chance out there, like you can. I'll have to keep these locations on record. If we discover a way to reduce the size of the immense hive these Grebbig have built, we may someday get started. Khazadum belongs to Dorin's folk! Our camp is in a dangerous location, being so close to the enormous hive, but if we go further north, we are sure to be overrun by orcs. The ancient runes in this locket described a chamber somewhere within the Red Horn Lodes, and this could be the perfect place to set up our mining operation. The runes don't specify exactly where, but I believe this old garrison is inside the hive somewhere. Head south into the hive and search for the ancient garrison of Nud Hidden. Alright, let's go try to find this place. Making actually decent progress as far as getting experience even though I'm over leveled. That looks promising right here. Found the ancient miner's garrison nude headed. This is a pretty nice cozy place. You assess the entry room of nude headed. Let me kill some of these enemies with quest rings above their head. Okay. The Gretbeg have converted Nude Hedden into an extension of their hive. This was once an ancient home of dwarves and should be again. While inside the feet, many Gretbeg you find there. 
So I guess it's the same quest for both types of enemies. That's fine. Let's see if I can lure a couple more here. Fortunately, these are very slow, so it may take a while for them to bunch up here. Let me actually bring him to this one. That way I can do all these together. Press the wrong button. It's fine. Queen's Chamber. While the Grabog Queen still lives, dwarves will never reclaim their honorable home of old. She must be struck down. Only then will this place be left in peace. That is a juicy one. Look how thick she is. Let me go ahead and grab a few of these. A few of those. You might as well grab some warriors here. Unfortunately, the Queen is ranged, so... Oh, she sent me flying. Let me kill this last one here. Perfect. Nude Hedden now has a chance to be claimed by something other than Gredbig. Will dwarves once again call this home? Kazadum will not be restored to glory all at once, but stone by stone, it will shine once more. Perfect. So I need to find one more chamber here. Probably up through here. You assess the main barracks of Nude Hedden. Gredbig living where dwarves once did is unacceptable. This is an honored site of ancient miners of Mithril. The Grodbog larva should be destroyed in honor of the dwarves of old who call this place home. Looks like they're making almost like a nursery over here. Some interesting paintings. Looks like Weathertop over there. And not sure what that one is, honestly. Take a look at this one. Just that same dwarf one that we've seen a few places here in Moria. Perfect. So let's go turn all these in. Where's the exit again? I have no idea. I think I went the wrong way. This is the Queen's Chamber. There we go. Alright, let me ride all the way back. Return soon to his halls. Dead, you say? Are you sure? Well, that's good. Cooley and I will pack up soon and make our way there. It will be up to us to ensure that those blasted insects do not try to occupy that ancient home of the dwarves ever again. The orcs of Moria have much to account for. The thought of Gridbig raising their young where dwarves of legend once slept sickens me. That was once a warm home to those honorable dwarves. They found the mithril and that many treasures of Moria are made from. 
What do you need? Doran's folk will defy Doran's bane. I cannot believe the ancient garrison exists and is not just rumor or legend. It makes sense that this place is unlivable after how long it has been left uninhabited by dwarves. I suppose when I think about it, it was foolish to think that it would be safe. It was more a desire born from hope than from reality. If we are to fight Mithril and Khazadum, we will first have to deal with the orcs. The high formations in this cavern have never been this large and must be incubating an immense population of Gredbig. They always lived in the nooks and crannies here, but are recently their growth has downright exploded. You can see from here, the ceilings and walls are covered in cocoons and larvae. There must be a heat source helping incubate all those eggs so quickly. Perhaps you could seek out this heat source? If we find out where the heat comes from, we may be able to do something about it. Alright. So I need to find the heat source in the flaming deeps. So this is a vector quest into another region of Moria. And actually, I believe the epic is in the flaming deeps as well. Yeah, the flaming deep, so I can make this quest active again because we're ready to go for it. So let's head down there. And we did get a sneak preview of it in the last episode when we were doing that farewell to the dwarf by drinking in several locations here in Moria. One of the locations was in the flaming deeps. But my screen was so blurry from my poor hobbit's drunkenness that you probably only got a very sneak peek at it. I guess let me try to come up through here. And here we are at the Flaming Deeps. The heat is coming from the Flaming Deeps, but wait. What is the noise coming from around the corner to the right? I don't know. What is a noise coming from around the corner to the right? Let's go find out. Let me see where I am here. So you can see it's a pretty big map here. It's got connections to the waterworks and then to Zelamelech as well. The red horn loads. So there's different ways that you can come through here, obviously. Alright, let me check these out here. Ah. Wood is in short supply in Khazad Doom, and the pieces of scaffold found around the flaming deeps could prove useful for the repair efforts being performed beneath the crossroads of ash. There should be a decent supply of pieces of scaffold found throughout the tunnels east of Hadad Mezer. Alright, let me talk with this napping dwarf over here. The heat is coming from the boiling oil pools and lava pools in the flaming deeps. There is nothing that can be done to stop it from helping the Grabog hive incubate their young. But there appears to be an injured dwarf hiding among the rocks ahead. You should see if he needs help. We can only hope that Durin's bane sleeps deeply. Thank you for stopping to speak with me, Traveler. We have been leading an assault on the orcs, but we were overtaken by a much larger force than we prepared for. I got away but have sustained a serious injury. I am too hurt to travel, but I would appreciate it if you could go check and see if there were any additional survivors at Hadad Mezer. Hadad Mezer can be found to the northwest. Just follow the sounds of battle. Alright. So, let me move this up here, maybe. It's a little bit better. So, there's stuff everywhere. Quest rings everywhere. So, let's take a look at what we can do. It's a very shiny floor. The faint sounds of Battle of Hadar and Mezer can be heard in the distance. <laughs> Let me continue to pick up some scaffolding here as I come across them. Is this a dead end? It looks like it. Let me head over this way. The sound of battle draws near to you as you move closer to Hadad Mezer. It's not exactly what that text said, but sometimes I improvise. Let 
me loop around this way, I think. And there are some fire grims here. Let me blow it up. The fiery grims are nothing but a hindrance to the dwarf efforts, and their flames must be extinguished. Their hot orange glow should make them easy targets. This should be the last piece of scaffolding here. Right, where am I headed? I think I need to head south somehow. Yeah, let me head up through here, maybe. And let's see. Yeah, through here, it looks like. The sounds of battle draw near as you grow closer to Hadad Mazer. And then this time, a little bit to the west, I want to say. some gosh high orcs here the faint sounds of battle at Hadad Missouri can be heard in the distance did I go around in a big circle I might have let me just keep exploring through here though see what I can find Sounds of battle draw near as you grow closer to Hadad Mazer. This is very weird. Is it just like kind of sending me in loops? Let me head down to this camp and see what happens. This is Durin's Court. Interesting. I think I'm definitely not headed in the right direction. But let me pick this up here. Ah, look at that. This guy can attack me. Oh, I think... Yeah, this is for the epic quest. Okay. I can pick up a few of these, no problem. There's some iron bars as well. Some more up there. Need to find that battle to look for the dwarf survivors. But I'm having a hard time, man. I think I have to actually follow the battle sound, depending on what the text on the screen is. Like, if it says it sounds like it's getting closer, then I'm going in the right direction. But if it says it starts to sound faint, then I probably need to head back and look around. This is Yule. I'm sure I'll get a quest to come kill him at some point. So this is the statue shoulder piece, another one of Helgi Goblin Bane's pieces. You have discovered the shoulder of Helgi Goblin Bane's statue in Hermelskelzer in the Flaming Deeps. I did not pronounce that right, I'm sorry. The goblins of Durin's Way destroy the statue and its parts can be found scattered throughout Moria. A dwarf named Uxie endeavors to reassemble this statue. I really like that quest because it's pretty epic. We picked it up at the beginning of the season and we've been kind of working on it slowly ever since and in the end hopefully we're gonna rebuild something a really cool statue the 
Let's see if there's anything else I can pick up here. Doesn't look like it. Let me head out for now. And then maybe I can head into this blue circle area. See what I can find. Ah, I got stuck again. Did I disconnect again? Nope, there we go. We're back. We're alive. <laughs> so I guess some other supplies around here. I don't really see anything. I'm get on my goat. Wooden slats. <laughs> now I only need three iron bars. There's a few here. One more ought to do it. So that is a door to that one camp I was at earlier, it sounds like. So now I have to defeat orcs here. That's interesting that that objective only opened up after I had completed the first two. Is this lagging? Alright, whatever. Let me get out of here. I'm gonna remove this from my tracker for now. Because it's basically just gonna highlight the entire map and that doesn't help me at all gonna remove this one as well want to focus on this battle sound one I'm sure gonna get plenty of quests to kill orcs here that's why I'm not gonna worry about that epic quest for now I'm sure I'll just get it by default by doing some of the other quests here. The sounds of battle draw nearer as you grow closer to Haddad Menzer. Right, let me head north. Let's see what happens. The sounds of battle draw nearer as you go closer to Hadad Mezir. A voice cries out as the sound of battle abruptly comes to an end. Upon arriving at Hadad Mezir, you see that orcs have a strong grasp on this area, making it difficult to get in or out. The orc forces are strong and their numbers must be thinned. So I need to kill eight of them here. You have arrived at Hadad Mezer, you should search for signs of survivors. Alright, so that's a lot of orcs I'm going to be having to kill here. Let me see if there's any quest rings I can go to. Don't really see any. So it looks like maybe that's a survivor right there. As you examine this fallen dwarf for signs of life, you notice a half-written scroll clutched in his hand. Sadly, no dwarf survived this onslaught, but the scroll should be investigated, for surely it was important to this poor fellow. 
You found a half-written scroll intended to be delivered to Anazamakim. Is that right? Anazamakim. Clutched in the hands of a slain dwarf. It would be wise to deliver the message yourself to warn the others of the formidable Gashai. Anna's armor cam can be found north of Hadad Mizir. Alright. Let's see if I can kill a few more orcs though. I want to kill at least eight for that one quest. Go grab that archer. Excellent. And let me just keep going up and I'll kill a few more, I guess. And here's that... Anazarmacam or whatever. That's where we had that drink in the last episode. Let me kill one more at least. Come on, where are all the orcs? There's one. Perfect. You have successfully thinned the numbers of orcs at Hadad Mezer, making it much easier for dwarves of Anazarmicum to get in and out of the area. Alright. Let me again remove this one from my tracker. Now, I couldn't find many more of these, but I'm not going to worry about it for right now. I'll probably run by some of them as I continue my other quests down here in this area. Look at that. Very sweet archway. And it should lead me into the town area. Well, it's not really a town, I guess, but... You know what I mean. Alright. So we've arrived again. And you can see there are lots of quests to be done here. Let me turn in a couple of these. The day of the dwarves is coming! My goodness, this is troubling news. If there were gosh high reinforcements at Hadad Mezer, I can only assume they are also at Anghumuru and Ruzumakar. God, I can't pronounce that one, I'm sorry. We must warn the others before it's too late, assuming it is not already too late. Oh, glorious day! We shall soon restore Moria! Durin's folk will take fire, Durin's bane! This will do perfectly, there's enough wood to assist with the refurbishing efforts. I'll see to it that I arrive safely at the crossroads of Ash. Thank you very much. And then finally, where do I turn this one in? At the crossroad of Ash. So that's I can't turn that one that one in here. Well, anyways, since we made it to this quest hub area, I think it's a good place to call it an episode. I do appreciate you guys who come in episode after episode to watch the series. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get as much pleasure of watching these videos as I do making them and playing through the game. Anyways, that's enough rambling. Thanks for watching and see you on the next episode.